Does that look good? Except We're not centered. We should move that way, maybe. Oh, we're back. I'm gonna scoot over just a little bit. <laughs> he wants to have the last word. See, he can't, he can't do it. Hey, you guys, welcome back. We haven't done a sit down like this in a long time, and this is kind of a big one, because we're talking all about coronavirus here in Washington State. And There's if you been are- a lot of new developments just in the last hour yeah. and a half, two hours. Yep. So just really quick as an introduction, if you are new, as of three days ago, we have like 40 new subscribers, which in the world of YouTube isn't that big, but it is kind of big for us. And so, hi, if you're new, and if you're here with the, the coronavirus hype, then welcome as well. This is Jason, and my name is Dana, and we have four girls ranging in ages from seven to 15. They all have birthdays in the next couple weeks. So we're gonna talk all about what it's like to live here in Washington State, especially um, as we're kind of the epicenter of the virus. A lot so, of stuff that's going on, yeah. And all the things that, so I wanna talk about like school life, home life, and work life, and all the different ramifications for what's going on in all those, in those three like areas of our life. Um, and we'll start with school because as of just a couple hours ago, the governor of Washington State just announced that all schools in all districts, oh crap, <laughs> it's bus time. So hang on, we gotta get our daughter really quick from school. All right, <laughs> now we're out of breath from going to the bus stop. And now all of our kids are home, so that's lovely. So we're gonna try and film this. So what they did Wait. is the governor just announced. Come here, Ash. Come say hi. Governor announced that in three counties in the state, basically the north, north whatever, that all schools are closed uh, till, I don't know, the TV said the 27th, you say the Well, the 24th is a Friday, so they are well, back in session on the 27th. Obviously that means kids are home. I can't even imagine what that's like for people who are working. now have to arrange daycare, which oftentimes means working isn't worth it. Uh, there's also yeah. just managing, having kids around and everything. Yeah, I'll and deal with that. Schedules. We've got- We'll be fine with it. Yeah. Um, Luckily for and us. And I'm okay with my kids. It's, it literally all just changed my mindset. Are we gonna cancel? When are we gonna cancel? In a week or two weeks or three weeks? So it literally just changed today. I will work with them and our school district is working on somewhat of a plan to either get homework to the kids or we'll figure that out in the next week or two. But for now, they're just home. And I, for my kids, there's a link that um, a lot of educational websites have posted free access to during these school closures. So I'm gonna go and find that list. If I can find it, I'll link it below. It will open up some opportunities for me to have, the, especially the younger two, go online, do some educational Stay tools and reading and math skills and that kind of stuff while they're out on break. So as of this point, we are just going to take it day by day with the kids, try and establish, this is why I don't homeschool people, <laughs> establish a, an hour here, an hour there, they need to, keep to, up on to work something. on doing something. Um, the older kids say that they have been given some homework, but that it's only gonna last so long. So, And we have to keep them from saving it to the last two days and doing it at the end, so. <laughs> so we're, it, we're figuring this out as we, come, as we go. This is all very brand new for us as of just a couple hours ago, like we said. So we're gonna figure out the whole school thing. They will be out for a month and a half and that isn't even a for sure start date. We're gonna take it as it comes, and if it the virus has kind of spread its way out, then yeah. maybe we'll be okay and go back to school. So, so we'll, and if you're in Washington or not in Washington, and you're like a parent that would have to figure out how to take care of your kids if all of a sudden they're at home, you know, leave comments below on how you would do that. It'll probably help some other yeah. viewers. Um, like I said, we're super blessed to where Dana's home, and so we I don't have, have to worry about that. Home, but uh, I can't even imagine if we both had. So I guess if you are in a state, if you're in Washington state, but even if you're in a different state, leave an idea of what you might do for daycare if you do work or if you and your spouse work or if you're a single parent or what, whatever the case is. Because I think we can create like some kind of a community of conversation um, that won't create a fear tactic in, instead of well, we'll come, come up with solutions. Yeah, come up with solutions of what uh, the problems which has got to be are bringing be tough up for a lot of people. So yeah, uh, good good luck. School is officially like 
figured out in terms of at least we know it's canceled so now our home life doesn't really change that much you know aside from all of them now being at home more movie nights it's more movie nights laid back schedule i am still going to do their regular chores chelsea has now changed one of her chores to cleaning the bathroom counters and cleaning off the handles and Rather disinfecting them. Well, I'll vacuum on a regular basis because I want to make sure that handles get disinfected and doorknobs. And during the day when they're at school, I don't have to worry about it as much. We do it in the beginning of the day and I do it at the end of the day and then we're fine. But if they're at home, then, you know, there's more to keep up on. I'm not necessarily quarantining them to no, home. We're not, it's I not want like them to be able to stay just indoors all the time. It's not like no. China or Italy, but they, just from an infectious standpoint, it, it does cut down on the spread mm -hmm. uh, so that's why they're they're trying to do it so so you know if my kids want to go play with their friends and their friends are healthy we've had a problem recently with my kids being allowed to go play at friends houses out them telling me that their children are sick so that won't happen any longer if anyone is sick you're gonna go on a 24-hour you're not going anywhere until you're feeling better status as well as like people coming into our home if someone is sick I won't allow that and but the thing is, like I haven't I had a meeting today with one of the other business owners and he's older and we were going to go to lunch and stuff earlier but we've been putting that off because he's older i've got kids i don't want to give him something yeah um, so we have I to be mindful my dad i've just talked with him on the phone mm -hmm. so we're trying to be mindful of the people in the most severe situation which are elderly mm -hmm. immune compromised which we'll talk like about that. your work that relates to your work as well so I want to be mindful of what's coming in and out of our home because we aren't going to stay here, but I'm not going to drop the kids off at the mall and have them run around the mall. I will probably run to, to a store here and there. We'll stores. go to the park, stay outside. We'll you live know. our life. We just won't go to big group. Church is right. canceled. Church, our church, we are LDS, Latter-day Saints. Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, I should say. Whatever, pick a name. Pick a name. We know, we know us by a lot of different names, but they also just announced today that they are canceling church worldwide. We are a worldwide church, so we're not going to church at least from now until the end of April. Um, we weren't going to anyway. We were gonna <laughs> We had decided as a family to go ahead and stay home and, well, and do have, the same type of quarantining a, yeah. that we were gonna do anyway. And they were gonna have what's uh, like a, uh, what would be called like a regional conference type thing. Right. State conference, which is a larger group of area getting in together. They canceled that. They canceled that. And that, well, part of the reason before they canceled it, I was just like, I don't want to go. <laughs> That's a large so group. So there's that. And then unless uh, everything goes bad, we have our upcoming trip we're going to do. So anyways, that's why we weren't going to go to church for a while. So whatever. Yeah. So in terms of big places that we have to go to, on a regular basis we don't have those to go to anymore so church is gone school is gone we won't be doing uh yeah. mcdonald's playland no things like that that is like a huge no that was nasty before any outbreak yeah that's, that's a like huge it, no that's its own petri dish so kaylee can go hang out with her friends as long as her friends haven't been sick you know abby's been upstairs on facetime with her friends because they're all home sick they just they were all home today from school and so if someone is sick, I don't mind if they like FaceTime each other and if, you know, my family down in Utah ends up, they're still slowly canceling a lot of their stuff down there as well. And if we want to like start FaceTiming each, each other and hanging out with each other that way, that's fine and too. And it would actually be interesting, again, the comments down below, wherever you're at, whether it's in the US or, the, uh, or overseas, you know, another country, what are they doing where you're at? Are yeah. they doing anything? Maybe there's no cases where you're at. Maybe you're in Italy and you know leave leave a little note below like what what's going on what is what's the impact like? for you guys yeah because that's got to be crazy to be locked up like that um, and again we're taking steps here to try to keep that from happening um, for example I don't have a job I can telecommute we have to be there that's mm -hmm. what we're all about you know obviously we're worried at this point because this is going to be devastating to the economy I mean globally yeah and so we're just worried about keeping the doors open and we so, can't telecommute we'll segue so, to work really quick because that's what I was doing for, I know but for a lot of you who don't know our work he doesn't get to have the chance to work from home we own an actual physical location we own a shoe store and, and so he has to go uh, to work we're a specialty shoe store so we actually help people yeah talk with people and stuff so that's our niche is actually being one-on-one -on -one with people. And the demographic uh, is the one that they have is- older demographic. The one at risk. Things like that. So at this point, we're just trying to do all we can to keep business going. In terms of him going to work, I need to make sure
sure he's not sick going to work. I needed to make sure that he's not taking anything to work with him. So that's why maintaining the cleanliness and anyone coming in and out of our home is important because he's got to still be able to go and be safe at our store. He's working with marketing teams to be able to like come up with different ideas of how to reach to our customers and get shoes to them in different ways aside from having them risk coming into the store. Well, and we want people to be comfortable. Yeah. At, so we've been extra cleaning. If I have any sense of like, most of it's allergies now, but I like pound the vitamin C, I'm taking vitamins. It's just so that way I'm healthy for my customers so that, you know, last thing you want to do is have someone sneezing and coughing in front of you in this climate. Right. Uh, people will just freak out. Yeah, they don't, they don't <laughs> like it. Yeah. So we'll just keep the doors open as long as we can and I right. and and pray for the best because you that's know all we can do nobody that's all we can do. It keeps changing day to day uh, it, if you know honestly, what shoes you like and we happen to sell them leave a message below because we can drop ship it to you oh uh, but it's not our niche but we're willing to do it at this point because yeah. all the for a dollar you know at this point as you guys all know it's just the uncertainty for the vast majority of us if even if we get it or maybe we've already had it you're just gonna have a little bit of flu symptoms and you probably won't even think anything. I really it. honestly like wonder if we got it because we've all had similar symptoms one after another. Short lived. Of, though, very short lived about. of a you know, a twelve hour fever or and then it turns into a scraggly throat and then I haven't had anything. No, you're the only one who has it, but everyone else in my in our family has had it. So you know, cool. that's why Abby has been home. So there's a good chance that was the virus and for us, it doesn't affect us. So I have to do my part and then keep Abby home an extra day tomorrow to make sure she doesn't pass it off to someone who is more susceptible to it. Yeah. So it's just making sure you're just being smart and educated about it. And yes, children are less susceptible, but they're not immune to it. It's a new virus. So um, like also- I, I would like, you know, little, little, just little changes. I'd like to go yeah. see a movie or something, but I'm not really gonna go to a movie theater. I know, I might just pay the money to like rent it online or something. Yeah, it's just fun to go. Know. Maybe if I could get Shane come over, we'll have a movie night. Yeah. Rent a movie, could do that. I, tr I trust certain people. Like, I trust Well, you just do it in small yeah. groups. It's not about not trusting people. No, it's, it's just about stay in small groups. Yeah. Uh, you know, at our business meeting, we didn't shake hands. We mm -hmm. just. We have a funeral to go to on Sunday. Yeah. And, and you know, it kind of felt bad. We're like, you telling the, the husband whose wife passed away, you know, you can't hug everyone. <laughs> you were 70. He's a little older and he's something. had some health issues. But, and it's like, everybody's going to want to hug him and yeah. stuff. Yeah. We're like, no. But it's, it's like, no, nah, you shouldn't do that. Like, you know, just for your own health and stuff. Yeah. But, um, you know, you just keep living life and washing your hands. Yeah. And, you know, it works out. I, uh, like I said, if you're in those high risk areas, you gotta be careful. Yeah. But there's no reason to panic. There's also, this is more than just the, flu. the common flu, simply because it will kill older people more than the regular common flu. So we won't get into the politics of everything it's, it's that's just going balance. on. And but. I hope you guys aren't freaking out. Hopefully this video helps you get a little more insight because we're like at the epicenter, I guess. I mean, yeah. in, the, in the U.S. it seems it's like... It's moving down to California. Somehow it's skipping Oregon. I haven't heard anything. Everything skips over Oregon. You smoke enough pot, man. It doesn't get you. You're fine. <laughs> Stop. That is such a stereotypical... Um, so, you just gotta hug a tree and it goes away. Okay, so one thing I want to talk about that I... I love I... Oregon. Oregon's good. Okay, <laughs> so one thing I want to talk about really quick, just because I was getting anxious about it today, um, and I just didn't know how to, like, I didn't know what to do, but our trip to Maui, again, if you are new, we are going to Maui for spring break in four weeks. So I have been really anxious. Is it gonna get canceled? There's a certain president of ours who is talking about canceling travel it's out of Washington. Washington. And it's like, what? I don't know if that's possible, but. I, I, want, I can't even like go there, but, and we'll figure that out. But I also was really anxious about is our resort gonna close? Is Maui like not letting travelers in? Travelers in from Washington? Like what are- Well, we don't wanna to go to a resort where the pool's closed and everything's- Right. Everything's closed. Like certainly we can go to the ocean, but like yeah. what, what things are gonna to start to close and not make this possible for us? And so I sent a message to the guy that we are renting our unit from. We're staying at the Hanawakai and we rented it through Verbo. And so I emailed him this afternoon and I just said, hey, I wanted to, add an extra day to our trip to alleviate the worry of checkout times and, and flight times and whatnot. Which would be what we do even without parole. Right, we were gonna do that anyway. 
And so I said, you know, I just wanted to make sure he had that extra day available. And I said, you know, I'm not necessarily worried about traveling. I want to be able to come if, you know, if the resort is still open, if you're still willing to rent your unit, if, you know. She asked him a bunch of questions to yeah. try to get more comfortable with it. So I emailed him and five minutes later he called me and he was like, we're gonna have a conversation because I don't want you worried. I own three units in this yeah, resort. It like a, he's and on top of it, he knows what he's talking about. He's on the HOA board and he is in in conversations with cahoots is the wrong word. He's in conversations with the HOA board and with the resort. He's also in conversations with the airlines that fly onto onto the islands. Um, they're still flying, they still want people to come, um, they're still flying off the island, and so Yep. He said everything and the, the resort itself, all the resorts there, they're taking extra precautions. They're cleaning Everybody things more knows. often during the day, just like everywhere Everybody else. Knows. You know, whether it's Costco or a resort in Hawaii, they're taking extra precautions because they're at risk as well. They have a liability. If someone gets sick at their resort, that's going to be in the news and they don't yeah, want they that. Yeah, they don't want to cause that. Oh. So he said, you don't have anything to worry. As of right now, he said no one that he knows of has canceled. None of his bookings have canceled. A lot of people he talks to on the HOA, no one has canceled so far. The resort has no intention of closing down. They don't have reported cases in the area on Maui as so, of right now. So, so uh, he's gonna be in touch with me if things change and if the atmosphere changes, he'll just let me know and he'll be completely honest with me. He's in California, seemed, but. It seemed like a really, you know, he's staying on top of his little Airbnb yeah. business he's got going on. So, um, and so that's good. That's reassuring to know that one, we're going to have fun on our trip and yeah, cause I'm not worried about going cause it, I will take care of my clean space in our hotel room. I'm going to wipe it down every day. We've already been OCD when we travel anyways, wiping stuff down. Right. So. I'm going to clean my seat on the airplane and in fact, uh, what, last year, Oh we yeah. Went last year, this was the thing. We had watched a video about airplanes and how they don't clean. And so we actually took wipes and started wiping our seat. And the wipe, I, I just wiped my headrest and then I raised Turned it black. and it was perfect just silhouette of my hand all black. And so it'll actually be interesting if we go and fly. And it's April, actually clean. And if we do the same test to see, is it different? Is it improved? Yeah. Uh, but it was funny because when we did that, there was a couple behind us, sitting behind us, and they were like, what are you guys doing? And then we showed them how dirty the towels were. We're like, give us some of your towels. So they cleaned their seat down. Fast forward eight hours later, we had a delay in Oakland. Everyone, yeah, there's another video there's a whole nother video for that. <laughs> but we got back on a different plane with the same group of people traveling, and they were sitting back behind us again, and they had gone and, got and gotten their own wipes. Their seat, so. <laughs> and so, that's the nature of traveling right now is to be clean and stay in your corner and stay in your corner well i'm gonna you know yeah no, it's, it's just though it's i'm really interested in hearing my about foot, what you guys are my doing foot's going to sleep <laughs> we should we should uh, sit on the floor again oh um, i know because this is really comfortable uh i know like my back okay hang on no. i got it so i'm really interested <laughs> what are you doing <laughs> my foot is really going to sleep so i'm interested in uh there we go. You know, your guys' comments on what's going on where you're at. Yeah, uh, we've had people. let us know what country and where you're at, what state, and are people, no, nah, we don't have anything going on, everybody's just talking about it. Uh, For the most part, this is, uh, the conversations we're hearing so far, it's happening everywhere. Yeah. People are waiting for their schools to get clo closed down. They're wondering what that's going to look like. We had a customer come into the store the other day, and she was talking about a friend of hers who was in Boise, Idaho, mm -hmm. and they were traveling, and they went to a place to get a pedicure, manicure type thing. They asked for a phone number, whatever. It came up that they were from Seattle, and they, uh, what do they call those, salons or something? Mm -hmm. They said, get out. Yeah, we're not gonna help, we're not gonna do it for you, you need to leave. If I don't get which, my pedicure before their vacation, I'm gonna be really mad. Which is kind of wild. Um, it, yeah. You know, I think that's a little extreme for what people need to understand how this works, but whatever, it just shows There's the not extreme uh, of what's going on out there. So I'd be very curious what is happening where you're at or what you think will happen, uh, what you guys are doing to stay calm, relaxed. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe you're hoarding toilet paper. Uh, maybe you're hoarding a bottle of water. I'd we like are. to know you why. You guys are on toilet paper right now. <laughs> you wanna see? Should we show you? You're on toilet paper right now. So you should feel privileged and a box of shoes and a Coke. So we, right. we appreciate you guys uh, watching this. We will try to keep you up to date yeah. on whatever changes. I can't imagine there being that many more drastic things other than just slow in economy. But anyways, let us know what's going on where you're at. We'll try to keep you updated as things happen here. 
and as we learn anything. Yes, just stay tuned to our daily videos because for, for the most part, that's where we're updating. We just wanted to do this type of video to bring some of it all together because especially it's, with the school closures, it was kind of like, okay, now we know what our plan is. It's topical. <laughs> I'm just leaning up against you. I, well, I'm leaning on you. Is that a, as fine. long as it's a two-way street. Right. Okay, so, <laughs> you know, the school closure really like, sunk in okay now we have our plan now we know what we're doing going forward and so we just wanted to do this video for you guys you know up to date with our daily stuff and you'll understand what we're doing on a day-to-day -day basis now that the kids are all home and as we get ready for travel I'm doing really fun things to learn how to edit our videos and I'm having a great time well, she's so already I'm... got the uh, lead into our Maui video set which is, makes me worried that we're not gonna be able to go <laughs> I'm doing but, all um... this prep work I have a pile of stuff in my closet all this stuff ready to like get packed up and, and if you've been to Maui let us know where we should go I guess yeah, yeah will you do that where, if we, where you... we should go on Maui it's our first time to Maui we've been to other islands yeah uh, we know the gist of the island we know the gist of what to do in Hawaii but like in general like we know shave ice we know waterfalls we any, know beach yeah, go to this shack to get yeah. awesome this or that uh, any tips would be awesome yeah because uh, the Hawaiian people are great and you know if you visited there or you lived there let us know man we're excited and how it's in, if you do live there or you're visiting there now when you're watching this or you just got back um, let us know what the feeling is there like what is what is the word on the street there with this whole virus thing I'd be curious to know from the island I don't think I know anyone who currently lives in Hawaii who actually watches my videos I have one friend on Instagram who watches <sighs> on Instagram but she doesn't watch our videos so I have been in touch with her but she's in Oahu bigger city it's kind of a different feel than Maui but um, I'm gonna reach out to her and see kind of get a feel from her and my cousins live there as well so I'd just be curious if you live there what is the feeling on the islands and anyway that's it you guys we just want to like bring this video for you guys to kind of bring everything together in one place and have a conversation I do want it to be a calm conversation I don't want yeah, let's not I don't want out. fear and panic and insults and we've already had to block some people and, and delete some comments instead of um, and links don't put links in my, your comments because you'll get blocked it is a sensitive subject for YouTube itself to have a link in a comment if you're linking me to other channels that have whatever conspiracy don't type links. stuff don't put, don't put them in anyway. I, I, yeah. So I want to have conversations that are calm and informative and helpful. I want everyone to learn because we're literally in this together. Like the world is in this together. This isn't just us in our little city here. This is literally a worldwide conversation. And as long as we can do that in a calm way, we can all help each other out because we're all doing the same day-to-day -day yeah. stuff. We all use the same toilet paper. Like we all need to like do this calmly so we can figure it I out. Like extra and... flush, personal. <laughs> Angel soft. Me. But anyway, I want to do this in a calm way. So keep your comments nice. They can be constructive. We can have a conversation. Take care, you guys. Thanks for and... watching. And uh, please subscribe. Yeah. Hit the little bell. And, yeah. If you uh, do, if you click on that little bell, it'll notify you that we post a video every single day when I actually post it, so you'll be able to watch it right away. That does help my channel grow when you watch it right away. It tells YouTube, hey, you like this channel. I'm gonna suggest it more. So, and that's, we've got an array of things that we actually do. Yeah. Uh, so all sorts of things. Check out our channel if you haven't. Thanks for watching. Take care, you guys. Have a good one. Bye bye. Wash your hands. He wants to have the last word. See, he can't, he can't do it. He wants to have the last it's word. It's all right. I'm yeah. done. I'm out. <laughs> okay. I have it. Oh, really? <laughs> Need to get picked up. All right, is that good? I think that's good. Oh, we're back. I'm gonna scoot over just a little bit. But we're gonna work, hang on a second. Here, Dad, can you take that? I fix her iPad for her really quick.